All right, Will, you're part of the clubhouse. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I've been meeting with some other candidates that are interested in coming in and joining and working with us and going through what I call the 30 to 60 minute pitch of what we offer and what it takes and what your commitment level is. And a couple of people I met with them last week, their head was exploding when I went through, oh my God, really? Like, this is how we do it. This is what we do. And, you know, I had someone who's been in real estate for 20 years said after 60 minutes, he'd learn more in one hour than the last 20 years of trying to do it on his own. Nice. <laughs> nice. And I said, you know, it's like discovering fire or having a coach or a mentor that will show you exactly what to do through the entire process yep. from A to Z. And, you know, I've asked people how they've done it before and they'll go, uh, I went and saw brokers or... They tried and they've had, mo you know, you can have a reasonable amount of success just trying in real estate on your own. That's how I did it. I went through hundreds of dead ends, got screwed over thousands of times, got to the finish line, I thought, a hundred thousand times only to not cross the finish line. Right. So part of what I'm trying to do in this program is coach you every single day through every step of the process, one-on-one right. -on -one as a partner. And, you know, we will find some people, they don't like that because they're like, they think they know better or they won't take my advice. <laughs> and they'll spend dozens, if not hundreds of hours working on something that ultimately fizzles out. Right. So part of what the experience brings to you as a partner is every day from starting through deal analysis, getting offers out, getting the polls to bend, to lead calls coming in, to getting it in contract, and then what do we do with it once it's in contract? I'm coaching you one-on-one -on -one every step of the way. Right. And so we go through a repeatable process, and once you've done that 50, 100 times of going through the entire process of how do I go find property, how do I contact people, how do I write the contract, how do I deal with rebuttals, what happens when I get it in contract, then am I gonna wholesale it or am I gonna try and buy it? Once we've gone through that 100 times, you start doing the reps. You right. feel comfortable with it. And maybe it takes 50, maybe it takes 100 to get the first 10 or 20 deals done. Once you've done 10 to 20 deals, you will have the confidence to do this on your own afterwards if that's what you want to do. And that's what this one-on-one -on -one partnership is designed to do. And whether it's a year, two years, it's to get you mentored fast track through the process. Right. And I'm not talking about trying to do one deal or two deals. This this is really intense and that's why it can be intimidating to some people. Oh yeah. Because instead of just going and paying eight, ten grand for a program and they send you the they send you the stuff yep. and then you can call in if you have a question. This is a career change. This is a lifestyle. This is trying to succeed in real estate at a time when real estate has changed tremendous tremendously. Right. So some of the things that worked the last 20, 30, 40 years may not work anymore. New things work, but there's always opportunity in real estate. Right. There's always opportunity. And right now we're probably positioned the most for the next 12 to 18 months to see incredibly favorable terms from sellers. Is that because a lot of people are going to are looking to sell right now or like people are afraid? Well, because there's an imbalance of buyers and sellers. There are buyers, but they may not be able to get the interest rate they want from traditional financing. Right, right. So if a seller wants a price and they can't get it from a traditional buyer, they might offer reasonable seller financing at reasonable rates, and they will still get their price. Now, that is not taught in most real estate courses because almost every real estate course is go find the guy that has to sell. Yep. And get the lowest possible price for all cash tomorrow. Yep. So we have flipped the script in this entire program of contacting primarily investment property owners, single families, apartments, triplexes, 100 units, and getting them interested in doing a win-win with owner financing or seller financing, as we call it. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, getting people to go in, come in here, sit down, and go through the entire process, and whether it's in person or remote, it is a process that we're going to track your daily effort. And why do people not like that? Because people do not like to work. 
I've seen it. I seen so many people come in here, and uh, they sit down, and they're they're like, well, I gotta call people. Well, I I just don't I just don't get a deal. Like yeah, what, like what do you mean? I have to actually work for my leads? Sure. Well, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. that's called the business. That is the business, and if you you know, I've express this to most candidates that either want to just learn wholesaling or what we do or really want a partnership and go for life-changing numbers is it takes work i can teach you the real estate i can teach you the transactionals i can teach you what to do in the mechanics of how to act what to write where to post what to say to sellers to buyers i can teach all that right i can't teach work ethic right and I can't teach whether you're good with people. Right. And that's why through our screening process, if I don't think you have the connectability, the ability to connect with another human being, you're probably not going to succeed in this type of business. Right. As this business is that. Yeah. It is a tough business. And really, if you want to get into wholesaling, wholesaling is 10 times rougher than being a broker. Brokers have very PC rules and it's their club rules and forms and how they respect each other and what they can or can't do in terms of talking to buyers and sellers. Sewer scopes and... Yeah, all the forms. Um, our business, there really aren't any rules. You don't have to be a broker. You're just trying to be a principal and you know that works. So you have to first learn how to be respectful and present professionally to owners which we are going to try and make them sellers, but they're currently owners. Right. Most people who own investment property are somewhat sophisticated business people. Now, they may be mom, pa that own a couple of rentals, or they may be a guy that owns 100 rentals, but they're what you would call savvy, acute business people. Right. So they know what they want. They're confident. They know the terms they want. So you have to mirror and be presentable that you can talk their language. Right. Talk their language. If you can't learn to talk their language, then you're never going to be good at acquisitions. So acquisitions is an art. You really have to have the ability to connect with an owner, mm -hmm. get them some level of confidence, negotiate fairly, and get to a point that has a signed PSA, which then you have something. Until you get to this, you have nothing. That's the ticket to the Super Bowl. That is the ticket. That's the Willy Wonka gold ticket. Willy Wonka gold ticket. So we teach you how to do Willy Wonka tickets. <laughs> yes, sir. <All> right? <laughs> the original Willy Wonka gold certificate ticket. There you go. <laughs> we call them gold. Okay. And even when you get to this part, we call this the starting point. Right, because then you have to sell it. Well, you or may decide to, if you're going to buy it. You or, may have to decide if you're going to sell it. You might have to decide, is this work? You haven't seen the property yet. You haven't seen the records. You haven't seen the income. Seller can say it's brand new updated kitchens. In his mind, he remodeled it in 1989. Right. <laughs> so that's a 35-year-old kitchen, but he still said it's remodeled. Right. Okay. So you may ultimately have to have a negotiation on this contract. Mm -hmm. So teaching everybody how to do that, that's what we do. The second part of our business, which you know we put here, we have acquisitions and then we have sales, right? Some people are much better at sales. Because selling is a different mindset and a different presentation than acquisitions. Okay? Selling is more straight to the business. More transactional. Right. Acquisitions, I call it, you're going to generally let the, I call it a dance, and you're going to let the seller lead to a point, you know? And that, this is my approach is different than the brokerage approach. So the world of commercial brokers, they hire 100 kids every year to cold call the phones. Right. Trying to get a seller to say, yes, I'll look at an opinion or value, or yes, I would look at an offer if you wanted to send me an offer. To do that, that broker then will ask for all of this information. Just, they want the phone book of information. Right. Before they'll even give them something. Right. And they're not even going to listen to what the seller wants. Do they have to hire an inspector? Like, do brokers no. have to do that, or is no. that just something? No. They don't, they don't have to hire a broker, uh, an inspector. 
But they're going to try and do an analysis, and then they're going to go tell that owner what his property is worth. Right. I'm the expert. I will tell you what you. But I've owned the fucking property 30 years. I operate it. Why do I? You don't need like I don't haven't even met you, and you're going to tell me what my business is worth. Right. Well, based on comparable sales and income and all this, I'm going to give you an evaluation of what I think it would sell for in the open market. Dude. Right. Right. We do it different. It's your business. You tell me what you want for your business. Yeah. See the difference? Yeah. So I haven't offended them. I'm being polite. I'm, I will go evaluate it and come back with some of that information if I think it's high or low. But we're not gonna let, we're not gonna go first. Right. And if the house needs repairs, like don't like generally don't brokers like try to encourage them to fix those repairs and yeah. possibly. So in the residential world, a residential broker will wait, will say, you gotta get the property vacant, then you gotta fix it up, spend 50 grand, you gotta move all the shit out of it, gotta have new roof, new paint, new do, 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 then you gotta pay me 6% brokerage fee. Right. So the difference on a million dollar property is 100, 150,000 in brokerage fees and fix up. Versus if they just sold it direct for 850, they'd come out exactly the same. Minus all the headache. Minus all the headache, don't have to do anything. So when we switch to selling, some people, and I teach both A to Z, acquisition to selling, everything so someone can do this independently on their own. Oh yeah. But some people might be much better at acquisitions and terrible at selling. Yep. And some people might be excellent at selling and terrible with owners. Right. And so you can learn to be a specialist in this business which we have people that focus on selling and we have people that focus on acquisition. The difference when you go to sell is, here's the ticket. Here's what I charge. Here's the timeline when I need you to commit. Here's your access to the property. I have eight other people coming. Yeah. So it's your terms and conditions. Right. The people that don't succeed in selling Try and make each buyer happy. But you're, I've noticed you're good at both though. You get good at both by doing it all. Right. That's why when, this is why some people love working with me and some people hate looking, working with me. Right. Is I can give you an opinion every second on the transaction, what to do and the probability of success or failure. Right. And as some people say around here, I'm usually right about 98% of the time. Yeah. Not always. But I, I literally can see the success probability from the information and the cards. We call it the cards. The property, the owner, the owner's goals, the tenant profile, the leases, the zoning, the highest MBS use, the comparable sales, everything gets baked into the cake to determine if that is potentially something we want or would somebody pay you for this Willy Wonka ticket. And you can go over the, all those variables you just named like pretty quickly in your head. Yeah. It, it's no different than, you know, a Super Bowl winning coach saying, let me see the defense, let me see where we are, let me see the time in the clock, let me see my players, and I know which play to run for the highest probability of success. Yeah. The same thing happens in business, okay? This is a repeatable process. Oh yeah. I can teach you any zip code in the United States to go repeat this process, find opportunity, either buy it yourself, which creates massive amounts of wealth over the long term, or to hold it up and make an assignment check. It's a repeatable process in any property type and zip code in the United States. It's, yes, it's not rocket science. I'm not the smartest kid in the room. But what you have is 35 plus years of experience and think about as someone's trying to do this on their own, all the pitfall, and, and this is how I explained it to someone, all the pitfalls that they would go through, right, just in a, a one year or two year span of time, how much money they would lose falling in all those pit, all those, all those traps, you know, yeah. all those roadblocks, right? Yeah. But if they just had an individual like you with three decades of experience, you can save them all that time, headache, and money. Right. Right? And if you add up all the money that they would lose over that course of period of time, it, 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 it'd probably be six figures. It would probably be six figures. Yeah, I, you know, I had a multi-million dollar education and not succeeding. 
which is massive failure, massive failure, massive failure. Eventually, you learn that that's going to be a failure, so you don't do it. Right. And in the world of real estate, it's a rough business. So it's trying to teach you the probability of success and whether to work on it all the time. And we have people here that I tell them to stop. I'm the third base coach, stop. And they just keep running. And we're like, okay, he's gonna run down the hall and waste more time. Mm -hmm. And it's because, and that's fine, you want a student to go through failures. The, the, the faster you fail 100 times, the closer you are to your success. Okay, but most guys get all shy and, and sad and then they start going and hiding to call and they go in the back room, right? Yeah. You see it. They oh, call, yeah. They call from home so nobody's watching them talk. If you want to be successful, you better learn to talk on the phone. In this business. Then secondly, you better be able to talk in a living room. Well, it's, it's communication skills, period. It's correct. And the problem is that you're talking to property owners that where properties are not for sale, they're not advertised for sale, and you're calling them or you're contacting them to see if they would sell. Mm -hmm. That's not exactly a super warm call. Right. Our secret sauce, obviously, is we do our mailer program at a very high level, which has a strong positive response rate. And my lead success is over 50% on any warm positive lead call I take. Meaning that call will turn into a contract if there's a deal there over 50% of the time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I've seen it. Yeah. And so I can get a call to contract in three hours, which we did last Friday. Yes, sir. Then we can turn around and market it and sell it if we want to within 72 hours. That requires getting into the property, getting a title report, getting people interested, and getting it through the assignment process quickly. That's what I teach. Now, teaching wholesaling is fantastic. I can teach anybody to wholesale. The true wealth is made when we find a property and we buy it for the next 30, 40, 50 years. Oh yeah. That is where the true wealth comes from. Mm -hmm. So, wholesaling is fishing today. You gotta get in your boat, you gotta go do it every day. You take a catch, take it to market, you sell it, you eat for now, you eat for a little bit, but that's it, that deal's done. If you take that same property and you buy it, double its value or increase its value by 50% through value add, double, triple the rent, and then hold on to it for the next 30, 40, 50 years, you will have an incredible amount of equity growth and you'll be fed every day forever through the oh, positive yeah. cash flow. That's where the true wealth is. Yep, so I while while teaching wholesaling is exciting, and you can tell I love doing it, the most exciting part is closing on assets that we keep forever. And it's relatively easy to make someone a million dollars in equity in buying a property we fix up. Right. Which is harder than doing a million dollars in assignment fees. Because that might take 10 transactions, that might take 20 transactions. And they're similar results, but one then you just keep feeding you forever. You've planted a fruit tree that is going to feed you for the rest of your life if you keep it right. and take care of it. And I just uh, seen this, um, I just seen this the other day where BlackRock stated that they want to, they want to own 60% of single family homes in the United States by 2030. <laughs> And uh, I think China and foreign countries, they said that they, they, they already own, I think, 18% of the real estate in the United States. Foreign countries. So it's almost like your duty as an American citizen to buy these freaking properties <laughs> before all these foreign countries start swooping them up. Okay, but that's got to tell you, if, if some of the biggest companies in the world are buying real estate, why? Exactly. It, it, it's, it's timeless. Yeah. The value, can, the, there's going to be a shortage the next two decades of housing. There's going to be another 50 million people in this country in the next 30 years. Well, they keep on just letting the floodgates. It's just open. So, I don't know, I'm strong on real estate. The exciting part is I can teach almost anyone how to do wholesaling, and I can teach most people how to buy investment property, which is what I get excited about. Yes, sir. So let's find a couple more people to join us this week and do some deals. Let's do it. Okay. Thanks, Will.